All right, so for this one, it says a bar gets out a 50 year loan to be repaid with payments at the end of each year. So we're dealing with a timeline with 50 payments. Then the loan payment is 2,500 for each of the first 26 years. And thereafter, the payments decrease by 100 per year. Interest on the loan is charged at an annual effective rate of uh, I. Principal repaid in year 26 is X. Determine the amount of interest paid in the first year. Okay, well, if you think about the amount of interest paid in the first year, again, the interest rate is always known to be multiplied by the uh, loan, loan balance to find out the amount of interest paid in any year, which means that we need to find out how much of this loan consists of for throughout 50 payments and then multiply that by an interest rate to get um, the interest paid in the first year. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to see that in this problem it says that the loan payment is 2500 for each of the first 26 years and then right after 26 years the payments decrease by 100 per year right so this problem is splitting this uh question into two different equal parts and we want to form an equation for that so let's see what is occurring at time zero in all we want to find out what the loan balance is right so we know that 2500 is being paid out in the first 25 years. So, and we know that 2,500 is being decreased by 100 for the next 100 years. Why do we say that? Because, well, first of all, let's set, we need to set 25 as the uh, starting point in which we're gonna discount 2,500 payments. So we're gonna do 2,500 A to 25, and we don't know what the interest here is, so we'll leave that alone. And then it it is after 25 years that we're going to use time 26 as the comparison date to observe that uh, the payment of 2500 is decreasing by 100 uh, every year. So what that means is that we're going to denote 100 decrease and we're going to use the decreasing annuity formula for 25 for the other half of the 25 years now another thing is is that since the comparison date is used at time 26 because this is uh, starting with the fresh out 2500 before it starts uh, decreasing by 100 we also need to discount this whole amount to uh, time zero as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this by, discount it by 25. So now this is gonna be our loan balance, right? Uh, yeah, at, occurring at time zero, this is how much we're borrowing for this whole uh, 50 payments. Now, again, the rule is to find the interest paid in the first year is that we take this loan from time equals zero and we're gonna multiply it by the interest rate, right? Now, this is practically our answer, um, but the first thing that we also need to do is that we also have to take in mind the other uh, information that they're giving us. So over here it says that uh, therefore, the payments decrease by 100 per year and interest on the loan is charged at an annual effective rate of I. The principal repaid in year 26 is um, X. Okay, so we wanna find out what is happening in the year uh, 26 and what makes the principal being repaid X, right? Well, we wanna go back to the principle of how we know that uh, payments will always consist of uh interest or principal plus interest right so that means that the payment minus interest will equal the principal as well 
which equals x occurring at time 26. So what are our payments every year? Okay, our payments are 2,500 every year. Another thing is that um, we want to find the uh, interest, right? Well, um, at time 26, Uh, if we were to, so at time 26, uh, the loan occurring at time 26, well, well, again, how do we find the interest? We take the loan and we always multiply it by the interest rate, right? Well, we know our interest rate is I. Now we want to find out what the loan is at time 26. Well, we see here that we're using our time 26 as a comparison date to create our uh decreasing annuity formula, right? So we know that the loan that is occurring at time 26 is our loan of the decreasing annuity formula, which is 100 D A twenty five, right? This is our loan and we're gonna multiply it by I to find our interest. So now, this is the principle that consists of uh, time equals six, 26, right? Now, once we do that, we're going to have to um, simplify this problem to find the amount of interest paid in the first year, right? So what we can do is we could expand this. right, plus 100, what's what's the formula for decreasing annuity? It's gonna be N minus uh, present value immediate formula, right? So number of years minus A25I over I, oh, times V to the 25, times i. Now we're gonna take away the i's and uh, we're gonna simplify. We're gonna distribute this 2,500 minus 2,500 v to 25 plus 2,500 And plus 2,500. Uh, we're discounting back this whole thing by V25. So 2,500 V25 minus 100 A to the 25. And then uh, B times V to the 25. Now let's simplify. We could cross these out. And we end up getting 2,500 minus 100 and 25. This count could be back to 25, right? Now, another thing that we know is that if we were to simplify this principle of x occurring at time 26, we would know that this would be this part would be expanded to 100 times 25 minus a 25 i over i, and then we would do 2,500 minus 
Oh, we also have to remember that in order to find the principal interest has to be subtracted from payment. So it would be 2,500 in whole. This would be the payment minus 2,500 minus uh, minus plus 100A to the 25. Right, so minus 2,500 Minus nice, 25,800. Uh, we also know that i is always is already out of this equation, so we can cross out i. Now, what we have left, and we cross out b, so what we have left for the principal occurring at times equals 26 is 100a to 25, which equals x, right? So we know we notice a similarity here, and that is why towards the end, the answer is going to be. 2,500 minus x to the v to the 25, which is going to be answer D.